What is going on already? My name is Edizzy Viper and welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can create realistic looking vegetation, not regarding materials though, but uh, regarding distribution. And we're going to be using Cinema 4D and Octane Render together with the Octane Scatter. As for the materials and for the plants, we're going to be using Forester models and a simple plant shader that I made in Octane Node Editor. You can find a tutorial about that one right here. So without any further ado, let's get straight into Cinema 4D. So inside Cinema 4D, I already prepared some plants. We're going to be using a mix of eight plants, uh, that being two different grass patches and six different plants. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to be working on a straight plane like this. And we're going to be putting everything up here. Uh, but first, let me just set up a quick light setup so we can actually see uh, a little bit better what the scene is going to look like later. Okay, so first off, we're going to create a um, octane scatter, which will be our scatter for our grass. So we're going to put our two grass patches in there. Let's put the plane on in here, set that to surface. And right in here, let's set this to much more than a thousand, so we actually get a nice looking meadow like this. Then what you want to do is create a random effector and set everything to zero right here and in the rotation just on the H set it to 360. So we got a 360 degree rotation variation on our grass. And just go back into your Arctan Scatter effectors and put your random effector right in there. Next we're going to add some height variation. So you can either do that with a random effector, which we're going to be doing later, or in this case just add a noise shader to the scale tab of your octane scatter, like this. And so in order to get rid of all these blank spots, which actually can look nice in some uh, situations, for example if you have a nice RDT texture under it, it can look really nice if there are some um, dirt spots under it. But in this case I'm gonna uh, set the black color of my noise shader to a light gray. That way I get a height variation, uh, but without too many blank spots in between. Actually let me just add a ground texture really quick. So there we go, we have a nice looking ground texture right now. So what we're gonna do next, we're gonna add our other plants. So what we're gonna do is, I'm actually gonna use, let's see, um, probably these two. Or these three plants? No, let's let's use these two and and no, yeah, let's use these three plants for now. So we're gonna create another octane scatter, put these three plants into it, and now add our plane again as our surface, like this. So what we're gonna do now? We're gonna um, increase our count again. And now you're probably going to say, hey, why do we need so many? And what we're going to do now, again, we go into our scale tab, add another noise shader for it. But this time, we're going to play around with the low and the high clip of our noise shader. That way, we actually don't get um, just a height variation of our plants, but we get actual um, patches of plants in the grass. Because if you if you look into nature, there are always... Uh, some areas where certain plants grow. They are not spread across the whole surface. There are always smaller areas where certain plants grow. So what we're going to do now, we put the low clip a little higher and the high clip a little lower. So that way you see what the noise shader does. It gets a lot more contrasty. So actually in this case our noise shader is slightly too small. So what we're going to do is we're going to just uh, scale it up to like 250. There we go. That looks pretty good actually. But there are actually a little too many plants, so we're gonna just decrease our count again until we get a nice looking grass like this. And also I don't really like the way this uh, noise shader looks like, so we're gonna make it a little smaller maybe and play around with some seeds. Maybe like this, this looks pretty good I think. I also think maybe we can make the grass a little bigger. Um, the grass now is out of proportion towards the other gra uh, plants, but I think it's, 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 it will look pretty good. If you make it a little bigger, like 1.5, and then here like 1. Yeah, I think that looks much better. 
And now let's make the rest, the other three plants, make another octane scatter. Maybe we can even just copy this one actually. Um, and delete these plants and put in these three plants right here. And now all we gotta do is just add another noise seed to it to variate with the plants. Just like that. And what I just seen, I think actually we could make uh, this leaf grass right here. We can make that an own, an own uh, plant region since it looks quite different from the rest of the plants. So we're gonna put that in here um, and add another noise seed and make it a little smaller maybe like this. And now last, last but not least, we can add another uh, MoGraph random effector with all this turned off again and put that to 360 again. So now this time we're gonna use the height variation using the random effector. And the reason we're not gonna do this with the noise effector is because we already have a noise in our scale tab which controls our distribution. Um, so we need another effector to control uh, the rotation and the sizes. So in our random effector, we're gonna go to scale, uniform scale, and put in a value of, let's say 0 0.5. And now add that to our grasses like this. And also here, there we go. And just in case you want to see this on a bigger scale, we can just scale our planes up a lot. Let's say we scale it up to like 5,000 by 5,000 like this. Obviously now we have to increase all our um, counts, like here, maybe even more, like that, like this, like this, and like this. There we go. So now you can see we have a pretty good variation of plants in our scene. Um, like I said, eight different plants, and they're all spread across uh, different um, areas and different shaders and well different noises not shaders um, and yeah that's how I basically make all my nature scenes um, in addition to that you can also use a vertex map to control um, where the plants are gonna grow let's say if you want to make a little walkway or something um, that would work really well as well um, but other than that that's about it that's about it for the tutorial I hope you enjoyed it I hope it helped out if you have any more questions just leave some comments in the comment section down below and I am happy to answer them so with that being said thank you for watching and have a nice day